licensed as one of the two broadcast signal distributors to midwife the Nigeria digital switch on DSO and analog switch off ASO. Pinnacle Communications Limited has continued to show commitment to meet the obligations it was licensed by the federal government to fulfill. Pinnacle has continued to blaze the trail, affirming its commitment to Venetian's drive towards the digital switchover project. To demonstrate its readiness to deliver on its mandate of leading the country's digital switchover in Nigeria, technology partners of Pinnacle Communications Limited, Gates Air USA, and Megahertz UK visited Nigeria for further deliberations on the program and reassured those tasked with implementation of the policy. On arrival, the delegation led by the managing director Gates Air for Middle East, Europe, Africa and South Asia, Mr. Andrew McClelland, were received by its host, the chairman of Pinnacle Communications Limited, Sir Lucky Omolua. The first port of call by the delegation was the Nigerian Television Authority NTA, where the Director General and Board Chairman of Integrated Television Services Limited ITS, the other licensed broadcast signal distributor and AM of the NTA, Yakub Ibn Muhammad, received them. We in NTA are proud to be associated with Pinnacles to the uh, representatives of Gates. Uh, I would like to also welcome you to Nigeria and to NTA. In his address, Managing Director Gates Air for Middle East, Europe, Africa and South Asia, Mr. Andrew McClelland told the gathering that the relationship between Gates Air and Pinnacle Communications Limited will help Nigeria in the successful digital switchover project. Gates Air has a long history uh, within Africa and a long history with, with Pinnacle Communications. Pinnacle Communications is our only partner uh, that has provided exclusivity on the planet. And this is a testimony to the very, very close working relationship and technical expertise uh, that, that Pinnacle and Gates Air uh, hold very, very close to our hearts. I thank you wholeheartedly on behalf of Gates Air's leadership and ownership structure uh, and give you absolute guarantee that the, the focus of the, uh, the Nigerian analog switch off and digital switch on uh, is got the priority focus in our company to the very, very highest level. Uh, it's a very, very prestigious project. I thank you very, very much uh, for allowing us to participate and we wish every single bit of success. He extended an offer of a helping hand and assistance to ITS. For Sir Lucky Omolua, Pinnacle Communications Limited is committed to the digital switchover project and have in stock equipment for the DSO implementation in at least five new locations in Nigeria ready for deployment. But the beauty now is that you can see that we're collaborating with ITS and uh, Gombe is al almost ready. We're looking at Lagos, Kano and Potakot. There are still logistics you know, here and there that we need to uh, uh, fix. Once that is done, we're on. And as Nigeria goes through this journey, we are honoured uh, to be considered a part of it as a, as a, a vendor of technology. And we're honoured to be a part of it with Pinnacle, and we're, we're equally honoured to be invited here to NTA uh, to, to, again, be a part of this continuing process. The delegation also visited the Digital Transition Implementation Team, DigiTeam Nigeria. It's a pleasure to have you in Nigeria. I've seen what you're doing with um, Pinnacle. I think the network they are putting together is one of the best in the world. And so far, the locations, the locations that they have been operating in Nigeria, Abuja and Kaduna, there's been no, no problems with any of the systems. So 
We thank you very much for the partnership you are bringing on board. Um, so I welcome you again formally to the Digit Team. We're just here to reassure you that we will support you 100% in any way possible. And anytime you need us to do anything that will move this train forward, we're available. I believe at the end of the day, when we finally transit and uh, the analogs are switched off, uh, you will be in a position whereby you will be reaping uh, those investments that uh, you have uh, uh, invested uh, behind and to uh, also congratulate you for being a member of the ITU, associate member of ITU and also to encourage you and uh, we are happy with the cordial relationship that is existing between the uh, digital team and your organization and uh, I want to urge that this relationship continue because at the end of the day it's going to be uh, beneficial to both parties and uh, at long run uh, it's the Nigerian citizen that will benefit at the end of the day when they start receiving crystal clear uh, pictures uh, while viewing their televisions. Without your support, we couldn't have gone this far in this process. Your support has given us the assurance that there is future in what we are doing. We'd like to assure you that we believe in the future of broadcasting in Nigeria. We are well aware that in October, television broadcasting will be 60 years in Nigeria. And we need to leverage on the fact that it was the first in Africa, came well ahead of most European countries. And so we appeal that DigiTeam should take its rightful place and I'm sure DigiTeam know that there is no city today in Nigeria that has been switched off from analog and none is totally digital. Uh, we need to change the narrative. We need to be able to tell stories where we sit on the round table of ITU to say this is what Nigeria has done and so that people will find out rightly they have done so. Uh, you can count on us in Pinnacle for the best in broadcast. We are doing everything we can to ensure that lists where Pinnacle is operational, we should switch off. We've actually set up a team to go and do hands-on spectrum coverage mapping of Abuja to see the critical areas that we we'll need to do some uh, fill-up so that Abuja can be switched off. The delegation also visited the Nigerian Broadcasting Commission to hear firsthand and to be abreast of the progress made so far in the DSO project. The new timetable that we're working on actually has a plan for us to do switch off in, in Jos, in Abuja, in Ilori, in Enugu, in Oshobo, all the places where we've done switch on. We're planning to do an ASO, the analog switch off in those locations. I think an analog switch off where we are now is quite imperative. Um, recently we had a stakeholder meeting attended by every stakeholder and the, the imperative has even become uh, more obvious because um, unless we switch off analog, uh, we will not be able to deploy uh, the set-top boxes uh, and unless we, we, we deploy set-top boxes uh, and also roll out uh, infrastructure across the country then we will not be able to, to meet our expected target of um, serving the Nigerian populace. Uh, so, um, it is not just important that we switch off and analog, it is an imperative, both a financial and operational imperative. The visit of the Pinnacle Communications Limited Technology Partners made it possible for the country to keep pace with international technological innovations, standards and best practices. So if we talk about it in terms of quality of the infrastructure that has been deployed, uh, it can be compared to any other quality infrastructure all over the world. It's a top-class infrastructure, and I see Pinnacle replicating those structures all around Nigeria. Nigeria will, will be the better for it. 
for the kind of uh, commitment uh, in terms of quality that Pinaco has put into this infrastructure. We know in the Commission that um, a lot of investments have gone in and we also know that they intend to, to invest even more. Uh, so, uh, again, the point must be made that uh, Pinnacle has shown good faith on the digital switchover project and it has uh, made practical commitments by its investments and by the efforts to, like I said, roll out qualitative um, infrastructure across the country. The Pinnacle Centre represents a bold hallmark of decades of seamless partnership between Gates Air, the global leader in wireless over-the-air content delivery solutions for radio and TV broadcasting, and Pinnacle Communications Limited, a national leader in supply, installations, maintenance, training, and management of full range of world-class broadcast systems. If we look at the complexities of delivering digital television from breaking earth, civil works, building buildings, providing digital infrastructure, towers, to name but a few. This normally involves, on a global scale, many, many companies that need to come together in unison to deliver this. Never have I seen a company with the capabilities of Pinnacle to be able to break earth and deliver all this technology and, 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 and infrastructure to actually be on air in such a short period of time. There's only one company that I know that's capable of doing this, and this is Pinnacle Communications. A company based here in Nigeria, one of the most vibrant markets in the world. And it's truly an honor to work with Pinnacle Communications. We are uh, looking to help Pinnacle via Gates Air by uh, preparing and installing and commissioning some regional head end systems and some local play out systems to help with the digital switchover. The partnership between these two giants, Gates Air and Pinnacle Communications Limited, is expected to bring to fusion and deliver on point the scheduled installation of broadcast technology expertise as we have witnessed from Pinnacle in the Abuja and Kaduna installations. When this is done, the nation can truly witness the switch on of digital and switch off of analog broadcast. This government is irrevocably committed to the digital switchover process. So the, the plan now is that we are going to be with the digital switchover, be, be unlocking 40 billion dollar segment of the Nigerian economy and that's a tremendous contribution. At Pinnacle we are ready, we have the right partners, the, the Gates Air International, they are the best um, trans, uh, transmitter installers all over the world uh, and they are 100% with us on this uh, drive. Payments have not been coming but we're going ahead to work. For instance, Gumbi is ready we're just waiting for the roads, you know, uh, to come out because the state government had, had promised that roads would be ready before completion. But as I speak to you, Gombe, transmitter, all is ready, good to go. We're just waiting for the road. But then, uh, government needs to do more. Pinnacle has forged ahead, steadily transforming itself and the nation's entire broadcast industry through the process of keeping pace with the dynamics of international technological innovations standards and best practices. It is hoped that the collaboration of all stakeholders, including the National Broadcasting Commission, DigiTeam, Integrated Television Service Limited, Set Top Box Manufacturers, the Broadcasting Organization of Nigeria, Pinnacle Communications Limited and its foreign technology partners, will support the Federal Government of Nigeria to take the much needed steps to ensure that Nigeria's drive to achieving the nationwide analog switch off and digital switch on is encouraged in all ramifications.